Hi, this is Anthony with a review on Firefox 40, which was released on August 11, 2015. So let's get down to it. You won't find any new features in Firefox 40, but there were several enhancements, improvements, and changes. First off, Firefox 40 comes with over 3400 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. With Windows 10 out, Mozilla has updated Firefox to better work with this new Windows operating system and the Windows 10 related enhancements are mostly geared to work with the touch screen feature of Windows 10. Also if you set Firefox as a default browser in, in Windows 10 you won't be limited to Bing searches. Mozilla continues to enhance security within Firefox and in Firefox 40 they are making serious efforts to monitor and counter malicious downloads via add-ons extensions. So back in 20, uh, February 2015 Mozilla announced a mandatory extension signing requirement for developers of add-ons. So when installing add-ons that are not signed or approved by Mozilla, users will receive a warning message similar to this one. So it is expected that in Firefox 41, Mozilla will disable these extensions by default unless users override it using the about colon config option. And in Firefox 42, Mozilla will do away with the override completely, thereby blocking all unsigned extensions. And this may not bode well with some users, especially those ones who use many add-ons because they will be automatically disabled. So it'll be interesting to see how this pans out. So if you are a user who uses Tiles feature in Firefox, you will notice the suggested or sponsored tiles when you open a new tab. I mean, I personally don't use this feature much, and if you click on the gear icon in the top right, you will, it'll basically allow you to display tiles for frequently visited pages. And if you click on this uh, checkbox for this include suggested tiles, it'll basically uh, display suggested tiles or sponsored tiles. In your or based on your browsing history, and you will be able to identify sponsored or suggested tiles. As you can see, they'll be marked specifically with sponsored or suggested. If you use Firefox Hello, you will be able to add a link to your conversation. So, Firefox Hello is Mozilla's browser based online chat feature, and for example, if you start a conversation, you will be able to add context to your conversation by clicking this Add Some Context link and then adding a, a link to the URL into this section right here as well as putting some comments and then saving it. You can check my uh, Firefox Hello tutorial to learn more about uh, Firefox Hello. So some of the other changes in Firefox 40 include smoother animation and scrolling with hardware vSync and this is specifically for Windows and uh, JPEG images will use less memory when scaled and can be painted faster. There were also some HTML5 changes that were implemented and finally for developers uh, there were also some improvements and changes. You can check the full list of new features and improvements, or I should say rather changes and improvements, and um, you can check the release notes in the link that you'll find in the description section of this video. Generally, after upgrading to the new Firefox version, I run a peace, uh, you know, Peacekeeper browser benchmark test. However, uh, this time when I try to run it, it said that Peacekeeper is no longer supported. So I'm going to try and find another browser benchmark test to run and hopefully next time I do this review or review on the latest uh, version of Firefox, I'll have a, you know, a benchmark test. So that's pretty much a wrap up on uh, Firefox 40. Hope you found this useful. Feel free to check my YouTube channel for more Firefox reviews and tutorials and uh, if you've got any feedback or have any questions you know please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers for now.